Sinon That's right, let's see. There's only one wire, right? Two. You had a diagram with you, huh? Yeah, I know. Upstairs. Oh my god. Yeah, go get it, yeah. Is it in cut right there? Oh, yeah. I'm trying to use that same piece of front of Pull it, pull it. Skills a little tough. <laughs> I think that'll do. Yeah, we know it's coming on. That's it. Yeah, it comes on. Yeah, it comes on. Alright. What's going on, everybody? This is Nate Davis, a.k.a. Smog Dog. Hey, we're going to go over that fan relay circuit to show you how exactly what we looked at the, uh, the jump disconnector to get the fan to work. What you see right now is the diagram of the connector. First of all, first of all, I have the under the hood fuse relay box. Within that box, we have the relay circuit. We got the fan. 
we have the fan control side. You see the switch? Remember, the switch goes to the load, and we have the control side. The control side goes to the switch. Our objective is to get this side to work so the relay switch will engage and turn around and turn the fan motor on, radio the fan motor on. As you can see, first of all, I like to find the fuse to the relay. You can see we've got two fuses, 57 and fuse 3. Here's 57, and here's fuse 3. 57 goes to the switch, and fuse 3 goes to the coil and the relay. We're going to concentrate on that side first. If we follow this fuse or the voltage down through the circuit, we can see it goes from, from the fuse 3 through the relay coil, out the relay, and down to the switch. And from there, once the switch closes at 199 degrees Fahrenheit and above, it goes to ground. See the ground symbol right there? So the first thing we did, you seen in a video, we made sure we had 12 volts. Our system voltage going to that wire, which is a green wire. Now, once we clear that, we know all this has continuity. There's no break in the circuit. So the next thing we did, if I can remember this correctly, since this switch, when it's engaged, it goes to ground, we just give it its own ground. But first we made sure it reached 199 and it didn't engage. Once we had over 199 degrees Fahrenheit and it did not engage, we jumped it. That's the procedure you see him doing with the jumper wire. So he's basically took a wire from here to there and supplied the ground. Now once we supplied the ground, this coil becomes magnetized. These little dots you see going across that relay means this pole, this pole switch engages, should engage. Once it engages, the voltage from fuse 57 goes through the relay, through the other contact, out, down to the radio fan. And from there, to ground. See the ground over here, G201. So once we jumped it, So once we jump the switch, our switch closed. Let me say that again. Once we jump this switch, this switch engaged, the fan came on, so we knew our problem was a fan relay switch. Simple as that. It's a basic relay. Remember, a relay really has two circuits. Circuit has two circuits going in there. And they're controlled individually and parallel. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. And i catch you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.